Okay, this morning I was scrolling X or Twitter and I found something from Star Citizen that I thought was really interesting. And um, there's some other things I found as well, which is uh, like hilarious and I really want to show you. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was a good topic of conversation. I can't get into Wave 1 PTU right now. So let me show you this because it's really interesting. The first bit we've all seen is the ending that's really interesting. Here we go. Alpha 324 is bringing tremendous changes to how you manage your belongings. So this is an overview of 3.24. Your persistent hangar is now your first customizable home in the verse. Organize your cargo. Keep your gear close. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to actually do that with a tractor beam? straight into the fray. If anyone can actually do that, I'll be so impressed. To the things you need. And, Alpha 324 oh. and this is and this is what I wanted to show you. Look, this is so exciting to me. I'll rewind it a little bit. An Alpha 324 is just the beginning of establishing your home. Stay tuned for more at CitizenCon this year. Until then, get ready for Alpha 324. That's cool. It's time to shape your own adventure. <laughs> that looks sick. Right, we got a. Uh, so this is like I don't know if it's basic. So they teased base building last year, and the structure of this building looks stylistically very similar to some of that stuff we saw. But they don't call it base building; they call it player homesteads. Now, whether these are available to buy or you can just move into this they're around the verse and you just stay there or you build them manufacture it i don't know i'm looking for clues this is like a super i really wish twitter had better quality video because this is 720p uh which is brutal um like what is this what's on the outside it seems to be either a ship that's either another building or it's like a 600i it's just the beginning of a it looks like another building establishing your home what do you reckon, chat? <laughs> but it looks so good. I'll just rewind it again. Look at the... Um, so you've got the window. So this is the building you then zoom into, obviously. Uh, it looks like we've got a door at the front. And then you've got your own space. So whether this is like a lockable, you know, you can't damage it type of building that you only have access to, I don't know. But that's so cool. Stay so we've got furniture... And stuff laying around. It kind of looks pre-mocked up. Like these plant pots don't look like they've been placed there. They look like they've been... I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, looks super nice. Also another view of whatever that was. Chinned for more at Citizen. <sighs> so cool. And this is what I was talking about in my Wave 1 PTU video that I did. Connotation to that. Gun racks. They're already... Look, they're in the game. On this year. Like, this is so amazing. If we could have this like attached to our hangar or just like use the elevator i don't really care um that'd be so amazing it mean like less clutter in your hangar which i'm fine with and but this is so cool the way the suits are kind of laid out very nice till then get ready for alpha 324 it's time to shape your own adventure oh so cool so yeah before we get onto like some of the clips from the community i just wanted to show you this i thought it was so cool and, um, you know, one, if anyone can actually replicate this um, and show me a video of them doing it, I will take my hat off to you. <laughs> like, that's insane. But also, this looks incredible. What planet is this, by the way? Kind of looks, kind of looks like Hurston, but I don't think it is. Maybe it's in Pyro. It's probably Pyro. I don't know. Looks cool though. I'm very excited about hearing more of this. It's a tease. We're probably not going to hear anything much about this stuff or anything unannounced yet because they're kind of going to wait for CitizenCon now. Um, so I guess we'll just have to wait until that moment is. Also, kind of interesting. Little storage box under each one. You see that? I wonder what these things are. Again, the video quality isn't great, so... But yeah, let me know what you think about this homestead, what you think it means. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Okay, next up, I want to show this uh, clip from Hugo, French streamer. Uh, so I kind of showed the hull A as a <laughs> transporter, and it seems everyone else also loves chairs. There's so many pictures on Twitter and X of like chairs and memes and 
all that stuff. But this, <laughs> I'm so upset. I didn't think of this. So what's happening here is, can you see my mouse? Hang on. Can you see my mouse? Yeah. So we've got the player, Hugo, sat in the chair, right? So the way this works is you can sit in the chair, but you can't move. You also can't use a tractor beam on the chair once someone's sat in the chair. A lot of people ask me for that. But what they do is genius, which is move a so use a sofa to knock <laughs> this person off. And they fall down the micro day. It's Super hilarious. You've got to watch this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. He's loving life. Also, I love how by default it's perfectly set up for this Let's video. Go, <laughs> this is awesome. The music fits it well as well. Here we go. No. We. Does he survive that? He actually survived. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. He just gets up. Hey, nice. Look at that. Hugo <laughs> survived the jump. <laughs> that's so funny. And it made me think, what I really want to do is I want to get a live stream where I've got a caterpillar or a C2 full of chairs and people sat in it. And I really want to know what happens when you... Because it's attached to the cargo grid, right? If you jettison the cargo, does everyone just get leaped up in the air? Like, can we literally do <laughs> a recon drop with this? Honestly, all they need to do is set, set different parameters. I say all they need to do. Set different parameters for, like, seats with harnesses, like dropships, right? You can't get out of... And seats like this... Like, if you're moving, you'll fall out. Uh, it's just a physics thing that I guess they didn't account for or they didn't have time to account for, right? But at the moment, it's like a funny thing. Um, like anything, you give it to players and they do the unexpected. No no one expected this, I don't think. Maybe they did, but I, I just... It's hilarious, so whatever. Um, it's a bit of good publicity for Star Citizen as well, like... So yeah, CIG are watching this. <laughs> They're aware. They're tagging each other in the Twitter comments. But um, yeah, let's see what else there is. Okay, the other thing I really want to show you was this. Look, this is what I'm talking about. We don't need the Spirit E1 anymore. We just make our own. Like, this is amazing. The sofas perfectly fit. <laughs> this is great. I'm giving this a like. I was like, we've got the exec sofas with a little table. That's amazing. I love this. Like I say, I want to know what happens when you jettison cargo with all this stuff attached. Like, does it get thrown out? I don't know. I need to test that. Uh, can't get in. More testing required, but that's amazing. Damn, people really like chairs, huh? <laughs> they sure do. They sure do. Here's my tweet. I don't know if you guys saw it. You should follow me on X if you haven't already. So this was me with the whole A. Like I say, connotation to this video. <laughs> Just sat there chilling. Oh, amazing. I love that. I actually, just to talk about it a little bit, like, I absolutely love the components. I went into the shop in Area 18 and just bought a load of components and I brought more light. And it just looked amazing how, like, everything was laid out and, like, swapping stuff. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, it's nice. It, it, it's cool. It does take a while to load. Also, I just realized, look at this. <laughs> Why is that up there? Oh, yeah, a little, <laughs> little tweet of the Polaris that we saw a sneak peek of in this week's Inside Star Citizen. Oh, I cannot wait to see that ship come out of the ground. That is going to be awesome. Star Citizen tabletop is <laughs> now available. Yeah, that's true, actually. You can actually get out these little statues and place them on tables. It's pretty cool. Kind of fiddly. I don't know if I'm the only one that finds it difficult to move stuff around. Maybe my brain just can't do it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, join me for the rest of the week uh, for more Star Citizen videos. I'll be recording them over on Twitch if you want to hang out while I'm recording and getting thumbnails and that sort of a thing. Uh, but anyway, just look forward to the cool stuff coming. Plenty more to experiment with. Plenty more to check out. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. Also, pretty close to 20k followers on Twitch. So thanks very much for that. That's awesome.